so it sounds like things are great and you're having a great time doing what you're doing, but there there have to be some hurdles that, you know, truly kind of get in the way mm -hmm. of branding. So what would you say the biggest challenge has been with what you've been attempting to do? I don't think my challenge is much different than any other marketer. You never have enough dollars, resources to do everything you want to. So our marketing budget is like a thin frosting over a very big cake. <clears throat> now that we have national distribution, we're on the shelf with Walmart. I've got a $2 million marketing budget, all in. Packaging, agency fees, research. So how do we ensure that the products are going to move off the shelf? And that's when the, that's when the challenge begins, because what I see happening in marketing is there's no limit to the number of tools that are available to reach your target audience. The questions, there are two questions. One is, which tools? But the more important question is, how much leverage can I get out of a great creative message? Getting the message right makes everything else work. So if you don't spend the time to really connect with your target audience emotionally, not just rationally, but emotionally, if you can come up with a compelling message, you've got a multiple of your budget. So I could end up, if we had great creative, I'd have a $10 million effective budget, a 5X multiple. So that's what I'm pushing our agency to do, and that's what I'm pushing us internally to do, is to focus on fewer things to higher standards. Get the creative right, and then back into the tool that's going to get you in front of your, the consumer at the optimal time. And that's the real benefit that marketers have today. When I started in marketing in the late 70s, and we were launching new products for Anheuser-Busch, I would uh, get a $40 million media budget. Uh, we would shoot six commercials. We'd do some 30s and 60s. We would, do, we would drop an FSI on Best Food Day, uh, or around Best Food Day in the newspaper, and we'd throw in some radio, and if we had some extra money, maybe some billboards. Forget that. Now you've got about 5,000, I don't know how many tools there are to reach consumers. Um, so it's far more complex, yet the challenge is still the same. How do you make great creative? Great creative is going to win at the end of the day. Can you talk a little bit about the creative and how branding tied into the creative concept? It's exactly all about branding. Uh, we, I mentioned this tray that we have. That is, it has <clears throat> the trays are about eight by ten inches. Two of them nested together. Two individual packets of seasoning and two shaker bags in case you want to use those. Buy your chicken, open it up, wash it, dump the uh, breading into the tray, roll it around, turn it sideways, get it right comfortable in the tray. These trays you put right in the oven. Don't need a cookie sheet under them. So you bake your chicken for 25 minutes, take it out, take the chicken out, either rinse it and recycle it or throw it away. So. How do you promote that? Is it a uh, is it a bakeable tray? Is it a two packets of seasoning and two bags and two trays with an overwrap product, or is it as easy as one, two, three with two and three scratched out? So that we that's the benefit that we're communicating in our banner ads for gluten-free products. The big complaint about gluten, we have a gluten-free chicken bread and pork bread that are part of this program that are, these are items that are going national. What's the big complaint about gluten-free products? They taste like crap. A cardboard, yeah. yeah. As if crap has a standard of identity. <laughs> gluten-free is usually it. Right? So, so our, our ad is deliciously gluten-free. It's very simple. That's all it says. Of course, you only, you only got this much space, right? right? 
So how do you condense, to, to me it's the best creative challenge, is how do you take a benefit and really narrow it down to a banner ad? If you can do that, if you can communicate the benefit, so everybody goes, I get that. And the people that you don't want to get it say, I don't get that. Then you're really there. Because the ad isn't for everybody, it's only for the people I care about. 